Hello. Uh, today I wanted to show a bit of a oh different setup, I guess, for a, a job I have to do. Um, what I'm showing here is uh, one half of a clamshell bucket. And if uh, any of you have been watching my videos, you'll know that I did a series of videos last year about rebuilding a clamshell bucket. Um, it turned out good, and my customer asked me to do two more. Um, so I've uh, completed two frames and two sets of pins and now they've given me one of their older clamshell buckets and my job is to disassemble it and install the two bucket halves and the um, the operating cylinder on my uh, new frames that I made. Now we did this once before and in, at that time they gave me a brand new bucket um, so everything was nice and straight and clean um, this one's in not too bad a shape it's a little bit bent out of shape but not bad we think it'll probably work um, if you watch those videos you'll know that the original design had cantilevered pins and it was just a short pin that went in this hole down to about here and then there was a bronze bushing in here and what they did and it was kind of a neat idea. They welded, you can see here that, you can see right through, it's hollow. But what they did was they welded a, um, a round pe a plug, a round piece of steel in there, uh, which I refer to as a grease down. And the idea was, you put the pin in, and there was a grease nipple in the pin, you pump the grease through the center, it goes past the pin, hits the grease down, fills that cavity up, and then the only way it can get out is to squeeze back out between the pin and the bronze bushing. So it was a good setup, um, but because my new design, you can see there I have one piece pins that pass through the whole length, uh, requires the removal of the grease dams. Now on the first one we did, I got my father-in-law to just cut them out with a torch and he was able to do that on this one as well. Um, but when we went to do the other half, it turned out that somehow grease had gotten past the grease dam and essentially this whole cavity was just solid grease like I would guess there'd be four or five tubes of grease in there and there was just no way he pierced through and and hit the grease and then it was just spitting burning oil and shit out of the hole and it was a real mess so there's we just can't burn it out so the only way to really get that grease dam out um, would be just to drill it and I have a magnetic drill which I could possibly attach to the bucket and drill but it's not going to handle bits big enough to completely get rid of that uh, grease dam so so the only machine I have that will hold that is my radial drill and this is the setup and as is very typical when you have a jobbing shop like mine um, you never know what you're gonna get and it's just good to have lots of tools so what I've done is I've mounted it using two V blocks on the uh, axle I'm calling it I'm not sure what the correct term is but the axle that the bucket is welded to and you can see that the bucket doesn't actually touch the side of the table on the uh, radial drill. It's all supported by the two V-blocks. Uh, if any of you have watched my earlier videos, you may recognize these V-blocks. Um, I made those to hold a large boring bar on my large lathe. Um, this is the first time I've used them for anything other than that and uh, they turned out pretty good. Uh, they got lots of surface area so they're easy to mount on the table. Originally I just had the one there on the table and then I had it uh, clamped, you can see there with the bar across. Um, and then my plan was to put a jack out here to support the weight. Um, but it was still pretty flimsy and I was worried that when I went to drill this out uh, it would just vibrate a lot. So um, I thought about it for a while and then I kind of came up with this idea of using my 246 blocks as a spacer and putting the second V block on top 
and just clamping the whole thing down and it stiffens it up quite a bit it's I won't know till I actually go to drill the hole but it's definitely a lot stiffer than the single V block the major problem I had with the upper V block was this gusset um, for one thing the block that I made for this won't even fit the, the the threaded rods won't stick out past to put a nut on but secondly it's gonna just touch on here and want to dive down and bend these down um, so I I came up with this just using a strap clamp and a block here as a heel block and just clamping here and uh, uh, it's it seems to be working nothing's uh, like it's pretty pretty rigid and uh, so now I just have to drill out I don't know if that's gonna show up very well drill out the grease dam and then flip it around and drill out the other one now the added complication in this job is that when my father-in-law started to cut um, he actually got through the grease dam with the torch and I'm not sure how well that shows up but it makes a bit of an ugly hole and he had to stop there you can see all the burnt grease and shit on the inside of the bushing there um, so that was as far as he got so now I've got an ugly hole that's off center and any drill bit I put in there is going to try and follow that and it's going to be a mess so my plan is to make a flange bushing that will sit on here pilot in here and then I'll have a hole through it that's the same diameter as the drill bit the first drill bit I'm going to use and I want to use a drill bit big enough that after I make the first pass I've completely eliminated that um, torch cut hole uh, so I that's uh, I have to make that up on the lathe and then uh, I'll put it in there and we'll see see how it goes I have got my fingers crossed I'm not sure it could be an ugly job getting through with the first pass, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, I'm at the point now where I can try drilling this out. Um, I've made a bushing to guide the drill. I'm going to use a one and a half inch drill bit, and I'm just going to go very slow with a low feed rate and see what happens. It in the best.
video on anyways. Considering the crappy torch cut hole that had to just cut through the ends of that driller in pretty good shape. Well, the hole uh, cleaned up. I got rid of the torch cut area. It turned out not too bad. Um, my plan was to put the boring head in and just keep opening that up until it was bigger than the pin that has to pass through there. Um, but that's gonna be pretty slow work. And I realized that if I just flip it over and drill the other side the same, I can push all this grease out, which I have to do anyways, and then I'll just get my father-in-law to uh, burn the rest of this out just like he did on the other half and that should be a hell of a lot quicker so anyways that ends the machining on this part of the bucket thanks for watching